Um, other countries, again, see uh, the benefits of having a, a Middle East and uh, that's that's united. And if you look at what President Trump uh, did on his first foreign trip, he went to Saudi Arabia and he outlined very clearly what his strategy was going to be, what he saw as the challenges. And uh, again, if you just go from that snapshot to now, three and a half years later, you have the Middle East where ISIS is defeated, Iran has been significantly rolled back, uh, the proxies that they've been funding that have been spreading terror and instability throughout the region uh, are, are, are much shorter on cash than they were before. Uh, he's brought uh, the different sides together. And, you know, one story that I think doesn't get enough attention is the fact that uh, in the last election, a lot of what we were talking about was the uh, the spread of, of extremism through the Internet and then also the funding of terror groups. And President Trump on that first trip set up two different uh, organizations in Saudi Arabia. One was the counter-terror finance organization that unified uh, a lot of the Middle Eastern systems with our Treasury Department, and we got more transparency than we've ever had. That significantly reduced the amount of funding that's gone to terror groups over the last three and a half years. Uh, the next thing we set up was the Counter uh, Extremism Center, which has been fighting the ideological battle uh, online and has been making really uh, a tremendous amount of progress towards, uh, towards reducing uh, the misinformation that's been used to pervert a lot of the youth. So we're seeing a lot of progress in the Middle East, and I think a lot of countries at this point see it as, see it as an inevitability that they're going to have normal relations with Israel and that in order for people to live better lives, it's not dissimilar to Serbia and Kosovo where you know, their leaders are coming together to realize that while there are differences, uh, you know, human beings want to get together, they want to have better lives and opportunity, and the more that the leaders in the Middle East, you know, put old differences behind, they're creating a new opportunity for a new Middle East and a bright future where people can live securely, uh, practice whatever religion they, they choose, uh, respect each other, and have economic opportunity, which is uh, critical towards people, you know, seeing a pathway to a better life.